Welcome to the Polar Exploration Project Ranked Choice Voting Website Selection Take 2. Take 1 was a fail, so here's Take 2. Here it goes. So I'm going to take you guys through the process of how the voting for the Polar Exploration went down. You see we have lots of different selections. Lots of A's, B's, G's. What? Class of 1819? You guys actually put those guys in the running? I can't believe it. You're too honest. So I have all of the responses loaded. The first one is going to be for the conic section. The conic section. Who is going to win the conic section vote? All right. And you can see my error from earlier. I'm now tallying the votes. There it goes. We're running the script. Everyone's waiting with bated breath. Running the script, running the script, here it goes, two there, five, 13, 13. Ooh, it's a close race between B and G, B and G. Close race between B and G. 16, 16, close race between B and G. And G comes out the winner, very good. It must have picked up a few extra of these ones coming into these last rounds. So our pre-calc G, wow, what a close race that was. It went to the very last round. Pre-calc G is our Conics winner. Very, very good. All right, now I'm going through here and I have to now choose. That was for the conic sections. And now I am going to choose for, uh, let's see what was next on the list. Give me one second, copy, paste over those responses there. Okay, and the next on the list was the spirals category. Oof, looks like G's got another strong showing for the spirals category, but that's just the popular vote. That is not the rank choice vote. You see pre-calc A got a lot of second picks. Let's go through it. Let's tally the info. So let's election tally ballots with the new data. Running the script. Here it goes. Who's going to win for spirals? Who is going to win for spirals? Two picks for A, six for B, eight for B, 17 for G. Oh, wow, that was a clear winner. G got more than 50% of the vote on the very first go around. So that was a landslide for pre-calc G. Pre-calc G going strong, nice job. All right, go ahead and pick the next three. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the data. It could just be because more PewDiePie G folks responded than any of the other groups to this form. Although it was pretty well responded. We got most people responding, so plug in that data. All right. So now the next up is the ooh circles and lines category. One of my favorites, circles and lines. Okay. All the data is loaded. Let's run the ballots. Tally the ballots. Running script. Okay, here it goes. Come on. Five, wow, seven. 17 for B, four for G. It's a landslide. B wins, B wins for circles and lines. Congrats to the pre-calc B circles and lines group. All right. Next category, grab the data. Boom, boom, and select them on down. Select, plug them into the right form from which the script is running. Election Valley, let's figure out what this next one is. Circles and lines, cardioids and limousins. Cardioids and limousins. Wow, this is gonna be fascinating. A lot of good groups here, all right. Let's run the votes. We're tallying the votes. Running the script, running the script, running the script. Five, 11, nine, eight. Oh, it's close. It's going to go round two. 12. They picked up one vote, they picked up three votes. It's tied now between B and G. Oh, and A plucks it. Oh, A wins it by a hair. You can see right here that in the second round, uh, some folks who voted for 18, 19 for first round voted for B for the second round. So that made it tied up, but then came down to that very last round and pre-calc A nudged ahead. All right, so A1 for cardioids and limousins. Great, so all the classes are represented, which is always a lot of fun. All right, and see the next one. 
plug the data, copy, all right, and roll that into our form that from which the script runs. All right, let's see here, what's next? After cardioids and limousines, ooh, more polar curves, more curves. All right, and then rows. Okay, more polar curves. All right, we're all good to go. Let's run the ballots. Running the script, running the script, running the script. Oof, B out ahead. B picks up one. Ow, oh, and that finishes it off. B must have picked up enough from uh, from G, who would have dropped out at that stage in the second round to inch over A and, and grab more than 50% of the vote. It's the funny thing about the way the script runs. You never really see that final tally. All you know is when it ends, B must have picked up a couple extra a couple extra from here. You see that three, two of them went here, one of them went here. Pre-calc G got zero, eliminating G, and so seven. You don't see those seven get distributed, but B must have won those, those remaining seven. So B has got more polar curves. Oh, man, I'm rooting for A. That way every group has two. That would be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. All right. It's going on over, and this is our last one, our last selection. Wow, lots of 1819 selections. Lots of 1819. But it looks like right now 1819 is going to be dethroned. Dethroned. All right, pop it in. Boop, there it goes. And the last one, of course, more polo curves. The last one is rose petal curves. So, rose petal curves. Who is going to win for the rose petal curve competition? The data is in. Let's run the ballots. All right, here it goes. I'm actually pretty impressed with 1819. The fact that they keep on managing to pick up first places. Oh, this is close. This is close. Come on. Out. And B wins by a hair. So, so close. All right. So in the overall tally count, uh, out of the six categories, A won the cardioid and limousine category. And then G started off strong with conics and spirals. We got two of the categories, but B cleaned up. They got three of the categories. Circles and lines, more curves, and roses. That concludes our polar exploration rank choice voting uh, uh, tallying. So I will grade the uh, the your guys' contributions on the website, and then I'll promptly delete your page. Uh, it's lost for obscurity, so copy that to your own website if you want it. Um, I will delete it, and I will then keep on our pre-calc honors page the winning uh, the winning classes. All right, enjoy the rest of your day.